So, we made it out of the... And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. We made it... Thank you for... Oh, once it was a good, dis a good uh, thing that it get disconnected. Anyway, so welcome back to the another episode of Life is Strange to Call Chapter 5. And uh, we made it out of the mines alive. Pretty fucked up, but alive. And now we'll see what's going, on, what's going to happen. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values right. which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited oh for its God. future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Yes, it's me. God, I'm fine. You are not fine. <laughs> I'm we fine. Have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? This will be heard here. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Steph, without the um. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you, and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Don't pretend. You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Yeah. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Hmm. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. They are ruthless. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Okay. Come on, Pike, you know, you have the evidence. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Not embarrassed. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. 
but we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. One question, real quick. If that the whole story was was bullshit, how are there memories of Zed saving the man? There was actually a memory. I I remember the f the first chapter we went up up there to find Ethan, but we saw we searched the the the, the, um, the whole uh, the whole area around and we found a, a piece of. Uh, I thought it was it was a helmet, not a piece of the he of the helmet. It was a helmet that there were there were a memory about Zed saving the people. I mean, if we can feel the emotions, wouldn't we know that they were, this was that was total bullshit? That that's mis that's curious. Unless I'm, I'm missing something, but I find this very very very. Uh, serious. I mean, how 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 did that slip from the emotions? Emotions cannot lie. Anyway, you suppress the evidence. You know, there's proof of the cover up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence, and I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Father? What the f- All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. What? You're lying. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. Okay, obviously. Steph. I believe you too. Oh, damn. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger, but over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if, if not impossible, but she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Okay, Pike, do something, for fuck's sake. I agree with Ducky. Okay. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. Okay. Actually, Diane? There is evidence. There is okay, evidence. okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank God. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? 
I know your game. I know Don't how test you... me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- Jason, with... I think you better call it. I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member of this council has Admitted to a you believe me? This is a load of bullshit. I, I don't believe this is it. Ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. And it huh. the it's very hard. I don't know. I'm, not your I'm so sorry. Deputy Pike, I'm going first thing tomorrow. The truth will out anyway, so. Dad. Please. Come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. Oh my. my own goddamn son! Stop. What's happening? What's happening? What? What the hell? Whoa, damn! I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He was a screw up. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe. Yeah. My big brother. He was building a family. He was building a family here. Doing it his own way. Figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it. And so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. Now we're talking uh, directly. He died because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. They even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to play music. Playing on stage yesterday was one of the best moments I can remember. Gabe knew that about me. He knew that if I could just play, just let myself love something, then one day I could be happy. His emotions are chasing, obviously, but I don't think I'm making the right choices. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth.
You've forgotten it. Haven't you? You've plastered it with plastered over it with another story. That you're a good man. You tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Such a good, generous man. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away. I'm feeling this is going to end badly. You're a pawn. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. Yep. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Okay, did I, did, I, did I succeed? The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I don't know if his emotions are changing or... Or if it's just the color. I see the truth about you. I was red. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. But I forgive you. And I forgive you. Oh, we did it! <laughs> okay. We've done it. He broke. He admitted a thing, everything. Oh my! And on the Titan mining scale, oh. candle that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the death of seven Titan employees as their manager 12 years ago. Mm. A recent cover-up which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right... Okay. So the CEO resigned? Yeah. The silence is worse. I need to get some air. Okay, so if we, if actually the the game give us a After choice to live with Steph, we will do power, it. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. 
Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the rooftop. Unless there is something, there is something with. Yeah, what is this one? You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chan? John, and now. But I. I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Okay, that's all. Let's head up to the roof. And yeah, after... Maybe Dad deserved everything he got. But I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Um... I love this guitar. But if it starts asking me riddles again, after what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna leave the, the city. Anyway... Let's go. What was that? Obviously, it's the end of the game. And the I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. Even though it was hard, I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. Okay, whatever. Let's go up. And yeah, as I said, if the game gives us the option, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the town. Who could it be? Hey, Steph. Oh. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Huh, thank you. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. Huh. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here too. I didn't say anything. Your ticket. You ripped your bus ticket. <laughs> I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. Or whatever you want. I mean, we could live here, but so many, so many stuff ha happened. You've uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. Well, I have this feeling. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. Uh, I think. I mean, if we if we went with Ryan, I guess the the guy that uh, wouldn't um, want wouldn't want to leave the city, he would ask us to leave with him. And now that Steph w wanted to leave, now she doesn't want because she puts love. I don't know. Puts a lot above her her own needs. All right. Just tell me. Is Gabe here? Is Gabe here? Yeah. What? My future. What to do? What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Really? You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. 
Why would you give that up? That's true. I think I'm gonna leave. And on my live streams where I'm gonna go with Ryan, I'm gonna stay in the uh, uh, Then again, hey. maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? Yeah, I mean... No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna Stop leave, it, anyway. Gabe. I don't what need they the stay? mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something.
Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what? Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Huh. Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. Uh huh. So? That was really beautiful. What do you think? I think I'm gonna seek adventure. I know what I want. If we chose to stay in heaven, maybe he would still be here with us. There we go. Come on, Ryan. You knew I wouldn't stay. Hey, Steph. Uh, hello, everybody. Where's Ryan? Ryan. Yeah, he's heartbroken. Maybe he cannot dare to see us living, but still, come on, man. Oh, he was up there, okay. Whatever. That's the end? Oh, no. We'll have a little bit more. Hmm. <laughs> Message. Oh, come on, babe. <laughs> Why am I alone? Where is Steph? Did I left her behind? Did I leave her behind? I didn't. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. La oh, that was a game. Okay. Okay. Thoughts about the game. You know what? I really liked it very, very, very much. Nice story. Nice environment nice people everything everything was so smooth so nice so they 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 really thought about this game i mean they they took the feedback from life is strange too that we didn't like it that much but still it was a good good game yeah but not as good as the other games that they ever released especially the life is strange one uh, games so um yeah this one was very 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 good i really liked it um, not some kind of superpower like Max or uh, the uh, the kid from Life is Strange 2, but still, I mean, isn't is an emotional a superpower? I think it is. Anyway, um, yeah, they they made a really, really nice game. I mean, the town was perfect. Everything was perfect. 
everything. Like, they fitted Steph from Life is Strange because, yeah, all of us want something from Life is Strange, the first Life is Strange game, because it was a hit, the top. And I think that they really did a really good job to keep up to that. So, um, would I play it again? Definitely. Would I stream it? Definitely. And I already told you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be with Ryan this time and stay in Heaven City. Just to be... Just to see both both the endings. I think that uh, Steph is gonna leave anyway. I have this feeling that that's gonna happen. Um, so, yeah. Also, the question that many Life is Strange uh, fans have is... Is it better than the first one? Well, this is how it goes. Life is Strange, with Max and Chloe, was the best for me Life is Strange ever created. The first and the best. Then, Life is Strange Before the Storm is actually the prequel, so the story was really, really good. Really, really good again. But keep in mind that the first Life is Strange is actually the fact that you first, that it's the first time you're playing uh, that kind of game. Okay, yeah, sure. Your choice matter and everything, but this connection with the story and everything that make you connect with the game is, the, for the first time, is really, really, it's a really big factor of forming an opinion about the game later. So for me, Life is Strange is the best one. Then goes Life is Strange Before the Storm because it shows so the the the, um, the, um, the relations that. Hey, sorry, I was I was testing the mic. I don't I didn't know <laughs> if it's working. Okay, it's it's working. Uh, yeah, um, as I said, it shows the connection that. Uh, hello, Oliver. He just jumped in front of my screen. Why? Why? Why, Oliver? Why? I mean, why did you do that? Tell me why. Anyway, um, and now he left. Anyway, um. Chapters? Well, chapters. Chapters. There we go. Five out of five. Okay. Um, so, they did a pretty good job on uh, on the previous Life is Strange games. And uh, on the on the prequel stuff, of course. Uh, actually, so was the relations between... The relations... The relation between... Um, Chloe and Rachel. And then there was Life is Strange 2. Eh, not a very good story, not a very good, you know, they really pushed. The end wasn't that that good. I mean, it was a good game in, in, in general, but... Comparing, comparing, comparing it to the previous, not so good. But this one was a really good one, so it's the third game for me. So, congratulations to the dev team. It was a good game, and as always, we would really want to have a new game with Max and Chloe. The after, after the storm, how I like to call it, and how I think I read it somewhere that that's how they call it. Life is strange uh, after the storm. Anyway, I would really like to see the uh, the sequel to that. But also, there is this opinion that says, you know what? Something if something uh, if something is very good, don't risk ruining. Which I don't think they're gonna ruin, but maybe maybe they're not gonna be as satisfying as the, as we thought it would be. So I don't know. I leave it up to the up to devs entirely. It's up to devs, obviously, and I leave it to there because they know what's best. I mean, if if I was the developer of the game, I wouldn't be. Uh, so sure about making another game continuing uh, the storyline from a game that hit so good I mean they got one they got the prequel that was really good and now I think the third one is not gonna be they have to be really sure I, ha I had to be really sure really you know um, really sure that this is gonna go be good and everyone's gonna like it or most of people are gonna like it so it's kind of a risk move, which I don't know if I want it to to be done, because there is a chance that we're gonna it's gonna be it's, it's not gonna live to the expectations, meet the expectation expectations of of the fans. Anyway, that's a lot of me talking. Uh, hope you like this game. I really like this game. Um, 
Tell me in the comments what was your favorite part of this episode and in general the whole game. Mine, I think, is that... Um, I will actually, actually lived, live, lived our life away from heaven after all. I mean, yeah, let's go. I mean, why not? Steph really wanted it. So many stuff happened to us here in Heaven City, so it would be better if if we left, leave that part behind. Keep connection, keep contact with uh, with the, with the people, of course, but leave this place because it's no good. I mean, even if my hometown, in, in my hometown, something happened really, really bad, like this, I would really consider not going back in there. So yeah, that's the, the best part of me, that the, ga the game gave us the option to, to leave. <sighs> yeah, really liked it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next, uh, the next one. I don't know what's gonna be, what video is gonna be, what game is gonna be. Not sure at all. The thing I know is that there's gonna be a video. <laughs> okay. See you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.